What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. What I have for you today is an MC Edit filter, which allows you to test whether a player has a specific item selected in his inventory. So you see, this hoe score is going to be set to 1 whenever I have this expensive hoe item in my hands. If I take any different item that does not have the same MBT data, you see it's not going to set the score to 1, so only when I have that item in my hands and it does not matter in which inventory slot I have it. So yeah, that's basically why I wrote this filter because it's pretty hard and takes a lot of time to create these commands by hand. And yeah, so there are two things that you need before you can start. The first thing is a scoreboard objective where the value will be stored in. And the second one of course is an item that you want to test for. And I prepared both, so we have this diamond sword here, which has some enchantments on it and a custom name. And I have this uh, orange tunic here, which is dyed and has a custom name as well. And I will just add a uh, an objective, uh, which I will call equipped in this case. You can name it whatever you want. And yeah, so now we have an objective and to create the command blocks over there, I'm simply going to quit and head over to MC Edit, where I need to reload. And yeah, here we go. You see, these are the chests. Uh, let me just select the one with the diamond sword. And here we have our filter called Selected Item Detection. If you do not know how to install a filter, of course, a link is in the video description where I explain all of that. And yeah, here you can input a player selector, so to restrict the filter to only test for uh, players with a certain selector. I will just leave it to add A. Then we have the objective name. In our case, it's equipped and objective score. So this is the score that is going to be set for the player when he has the specific item in its hands. And then we have the reset score first. Um, checkbox when this is activated the first command block is going to set the equipped score to zero and in this case we want it so i will just hit filter and we will get asked to save the schematic that was generated somewhere so i'm just going to save it as tutorial one and then we repeat the whole thing for the leather tunic and in this case um we want to set the objective score to 2 because we want to differ between the items and we're not going to reset the score because we already do this on this part of the redstone. So we simply hit filter again, write tutorial 2 as the name and now we simply have to import the schematics that we just generated uh, somewhere in our world. We'll just place them over there. and. This is the first one which has the reset command in the beginning and I will just import it. Then let me just import the second one and place it right next to it like this. Hit import again and save. So now we have the generated command blocks without the fill clock. And after we saved it, we're going to get back into Minecraft and you see uh, let me just create a full clock for that. Uh, it's just a simple full clock. I think you should know how these work. And then let me place a redstone block. And you see, this clock is going to be filled if I do scoreboard objective set display sidebar equipped. Um, you're going to see. My equipped score is going to be set to uh, set to 1 whenever I have the magic sword somewhere in my inventory and in my hands, of course. And it's going to be set to 2, however, if I have the orange tunic selected. And this is basically how you can use the filter. It's pretty um, useful to map makers because I'm going to use this in some upcoming creations for myself. And... An explanation of what's going on is here first we have the scoreboard player set at a equipped zero um, command block. I did not uh, 
generated a second time I uncheck the checkbox because I do not want to have the score reset it after it set it to one just in the command box behind but if you use a different full clock for that you can decide whether you need it yourself and then we have just nine commands which set the equipped score to the value that you want in this case it's one and it tests if the selected item slot is zero and the specific item is uh, in the slot zero as well let's just uh, it's just right in the in the end you see if the item lays in the slot zero which is just down there and the selected item slot is slot zero as well and the item that is selected just has this specific MBT data um, yeah it's going to set the equip score and this is how it works. The footer download is, of course, in the video description. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure to subscribe and like for more MC Edit filters. And one last important thing to note is that you can only have one item in the chest because it's only going to take the first item for the schematic. And see you in the next video. Bye.